That didn't work out. Hey guys, this is Matt Hall from SimpleCopter.com. Going to show you the new T Copter design here. It's uh, been changed up a little bit from the old one. It's a little bit shorter body on it. Um, it's definitely a, a better looking design. It's still got plenty of room for everything. Um, some of the new improvements we made are we put little holes through here for locking the arms in place um, so they can't accidentally slide back. In an accident, they'll still these things will still break loose and 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 you won't damage as much doing that. Um, what other improvements we got here? Well, it's an ounce and a half lighter, which helps a lot. And uh, so we're gonna fly today with the Sunny Sky uh, 22, uh, 12, 2212, 1400 kV motors. Um, we have flown this with the RC timer motors; they do just about as good. Just um, really like the design of these Sunny Skies, but um, again, we're using zip ties to to hold the motors on. They break loose in a crash. Um, my award-winning tail setup, very simple but very functional. And uh, I'm going to throw it up in the air. Well, you get to see a, the awesome breakaway motor design. Motor broke away. I mean, you know I did that uh, completely on purpose. And, uh, shut up. And uh, I was just doing that for demonstration purposes to show you how the motor broke away. And did not damage the copter. So, about 0.01 cents worth of uh, zip ties. We'll be back up in the air. Do a little vertical test here. Got plenty of uh, power. And run down the street here. This one doesn't catch the wind quite as bad as the other one did, so you can go a little bit faster without having issues. It's much more aerobatic than the original one was. Um, and it still seems to be pretty steady. I've done some FPP flying with it with uh, various nice results. And it stops on a dime too, watch this. Got a braking in it. Um, good y'all. I don't have it turned up too crazy because uh, it's just not really useful, but uh, that didn't work out. Let's see. Uh, try a new maneuver here we've been working on. It's better from the side, but I'll do the best I can. It's basically a loop with an outside loop. You pull up, come back, flip it, and come back out. One more time. Up, back, flip it. And kind of come out. That wasn't very smooth. One more time. Ah, it's pretty cool. Either way, uh, they're for sale. SimpleTopter.com. 
Uh, if it's your first tricopter, first time you ever mess with this stuff, I'd stick with the tricopter, not the uh, T-copter. But it's a, it's a blast to fly. It's really a lot of fun. Not quite as fun as a tricopter, but... But not bad.